Hello and welcome back to Stay Happy to Mermaid. We are outside today guys. And I just was thinking to film a little bit me scratching ass. If it's okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding guys. I just was thinking maybe we can give a moment from the beautiful day that's going in tonight. Tonight tonight. Doing that. Oh my god. This happened when you don't have a plan what you're gonna say. You're just saying stupid things. But we try, okay? We try at least. Take 30 minutes every day of walking outside. And one, for one hour. I think that if you say that, okay, one hour, 30 minutes of walking outside, and then you just keep doing that every day. And it's like for some people, it's gonna be really difficult because if you have so much in your mind, then we cannot go so much outside because you feel you are stuck. That's true for the people that feel stuck. For some other people, it's easy to get out. They don't know what is this about even, you know? But this is not for these people. It's for people that have struggled, you know? <laughs> because the people, the different people have different struggles. And people need to respect the difference. Some people have so much in their head, that they, they, they almost need to sleep because it's, uh, it's overwhelming them with everything. <laughs> and some other people don't understand this. And they just like, calling them lazy and unmotivation and that's just, I think it's sad when I hear this and see this because it's nothing about lazy it's just like two demons fighting in your head and of course you get tired that's how I'm thinking of course you get tired when this happens so if somebody calls you lazy if that happened to you don't listen to them because you're not lazy you're beautiful and you're strong and I hear it so many times that people call other people weak-minded because they don't think the same like they think again I don't like that way of talking to other people maybe the weak-minded person actually are stronger than you because it will never say something so stupid to the others you know because why should you push down some other people to make yourself feel big and strong and powerful I think it's just stupid if you ask me okay you didn't ask me but I'm joking, but it's like we uh, try to be a little bit extra kind with each other, guys. Is that so much to ask? Hard, so hard to ask for, you know. And I uh, was sitting here um, without music and everything, just thinking and watching over here. <laughs> then I started thinking that I need to stop being that hard on myself and be thankful for whatever I'm doing and take it step by step every day to me to the unknown and let the fear stay back stay back and that's I think is a beautiful thing when we can do that because we like human we always are like a little bit scared of new things I'm I feel you <laughs> I was in, in 26 years I never lived alone yes I lived with my sister my mom and my man I lived with for but like I never lived alone 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 and I was a little bit so scared you know how can I handle myself but at the same time I always was searching for being alone when I was around people like I also I need to work out for two hours to be alone you know so it's almost like I did searching for being alone so when I come to my new apartment at first I was like whoa this is <laughs> this is amazing and the other time I was like dang it this is hard and so it's like the mixed feeling of everything. <laughs> and it's like you need to do everything. Everything is on you. You cannot just like, ah, I'm not gonna make food today, then somebody else do it, you know? You need to do it. <laughs> that learned me that it's actually feel great to be the only one to do things. And that one I can learn with me in the future. <laughs> like when you're going in a relationship and living with a man or you know, then you have this in your head that okay, so it's you. Not like give it all to him, you know? Have responsible, like, yeah, I can take it. Because you've been used to doing it. He's used to doing everything. Don't misunderstand me when I leave my sister or past. I did go out shopping and doing everything like this too, you know? It's like, boom, everything I do now. But it's like a different thing that you have to do it everything now. You cannot ask for help because nobody's there. <laughs> Like yesterday I ordered food on the door though, but that's sometimes because I was sick. 
that's a different story and it was a very nice story <laughs> sitting and slap chilling and then they coming in the garden very nice <clears throat> so sometimes I gotta use this one because it can be a little bit too much for me <laughs> too much for princess you know <laughs> I'm joking you need a joke okay come down okay come down Nah, I just wanted to chill with you guys in the song. I wanted to chill with my YouTube fam today in the song. Like, and many times I go out for a walk and then I don't bring my you guys with me. Then I go walking without the phone. Then I'm walking, like, just with the water and then I just go around the house for 30 minutes or something. And just feel the nature and everything. And I just like, I feel, oh my god, the sun and everything. <laughs> I feel like a hippie now, you know. But yeah. Today, I wanted to have you guys with me because I was trying to put on out a video in every other day, and I'm trying to sometimes just talk a bit from my heart. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have this, and then I have this quote that going through, you know, like one and two, three, and then I just explain it around it, and I just think it's fun too, and I, I just want to mix it. And I'm actually starting to thinking about go back to my dancing videos, um, belly dance, um, just dancing freely with music and feeling the energy. I don't know if you guys are watching so far in the video and if you hear this, I was wondering, do someone know how to use normal music on YouTube? And if you know, tell me, because I don't know, because it's the copywriting. But I see other YouTubers have this music on their videos without being like um, copyrighted, you know? So, yeah, I wanna know, tell me. <laughs> You're a friend, you know, tell me everything, okay. Uh, yeah, so today it's gonna be some meat. I'm gonna meet on, make some meat today, and I'm gonna... some potato, let's all, you know, make meat nice for myself. Um, tomorrow I go back to job, work. And it's going to be nice. Uh, I just working a little bit, uh, but I'm going to begin a new job soon, and the new job is going to be about me traveling different places in Norway in three months. I'm going to be one week, two weeks there, and it's going to be exciting, you know. I'm a little bit scared, like like I told you, new things are scary. But like after one week or two, I'm already used to it. Like with the house, it's like own, uh, like. I need to get used to living there. It's not one month now I get it now, but like, I don't know. I already used this, like, okay, it's always been like this. I've always been like this living in this apartment. It's like crazy, you know? And it's like, maybe I've been dreaming about living in my own place, and then I come there, it's like, oh yeah, this was supposed to be like this. <laughs> You know, it's like having you met somebody in your life and they're like, damn, we have been speaking before. You feel, you're feeling that. That you have been speaking before, but you haven't. That you feel that. That you have. <coughs> you get me? Yeah, I'm a little sick. That's why I'm wearing this outside. And people are outside, maybe think that, damn, she's, she's outside with this one in 20 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know, I want to go out, okay? But I don't want to be more sick. I hope I don't I get more sick, then it's a big problem. Yeah. I was planning to go for a little walk, make a video, and then go back home, make the food, because... Yeah. The day, I need to take a shower. I don't need to have to explain this. <laughs> I've been cleaning all day, okay? I need to take a shower, guys. You need to take a shower, too. Like, I'm joking, you're nice. You're nice. You guys are doing great though. Just your breathing, we're doing great. I'm reminding today is don't be so hard on yourself. Because you are sure. Mm. Check this. Okay? If you're feeling a little bit down, remember that step, remember say that you are chef. Check this. <laughs> okay? Let no one tell you otherwise. I'm gonna slap them. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna slap them. But I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna say it like this. 
You should always be kind with people because you never know what they're going through. I always say this one. Be kind with everyone because you don't know what they're going through. And I actually have seen in my own eyes that um, was one lady in the gym once. She was talking on the phone and she was telling her friend that her grandmother of mother where it was, but it was so dying, you know. And then she go out and one man there was started to be kind with her and then uh, she smiled. So she was kind while she needed it. He didn't even know he was she was suffering, but he was just kind with her, like without he knowing he did something amazing. But I knew that, and I wish I could tell them that, but I didn't. So, so thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, little mermaid, and I need to go now. Bye.